Good day folks, welcome back to video two of our uh, pre-hatch six pack video series. Um, tonight I've got a small little damsel pattern for you. Uh, this is called the Slim Damsel and uh, this can be a deadly pattern right at ice off. I fished it quite a bit and uh, so I thought we'd share it. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. I've got a Togan's Curve Nymph Hook in the vise. This is a size 14. Uh, typically I'll, I'll tie this on a 16, um, sometimes even an 18 uh, to go really small. But for the video I thought I'd go a little bit bigger. Um, so I'm just going to start with some fluorescent green uh, 70 denier tying thread. And I'm just going ahead and get our thread started here. <clears throat> And the first thing we're going to do is tie in some eyes. You can use really whatever you want for eyes. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, melt some mono. This is just a 20 pound mono. And just melt it down. Creates a neat little pair of eyes. So just about like that. That's about all you need. And uh, we'll tie those about a hook eye's width back from the hook eye. We want to leave a little space in front there just to uh, finish the fly off. So I'll just go ahead and get a couple wraps on these eyes here. And don't worry about centering them. Once you get them secured, you can loosen your thread and move them where you'd like them to be get them centered that looks pretty good to me just a couple tight wraps to secure those and then just bring your thread right behind the eye there so your eyes <clears throat> now what I've got is some light olive marabou and uh, so I'm just going to tie in a little tail here this fluffy type marabou works well for this it uh, really get lots of movement out of it if you've ever seen these damsels in the water they tend to move pretty good so just get a little uh, a little bit of this marabou here and <clears throat> don't need much, but just a little bit. Get that tied in. Try to keep it all together. As you wrap down, this will be a thread body fly, so just want to keep everything nice and smooth. Just down to the back. You can give a couple wraps underneath just to prop that tail up a wee bit and then just nice smooth wraps back up and then just pinch your tail to length doesn't have to be a long tail but just still enough to give you some good movement and uh, now what I've got is uh, a light olive color stretch floss. So same thing. This is going to be our rib. So we'll just start it in right behind the eye here. Once you've got it secured, really give it a pull and stretch it nice and tight. Keep your body nice and slender that's what we're shooting for here now if you've got any little marabou fibers sticking out you can just come in here and nip them off get covered up anyway so give your bobbin a spin flatten out this thread and uh, just gonna finish forming the body here try to make sure everything is covered up Nice and even. A little bit of a taper 
towards the head. That looks pretty good. Now we'll take our stretch floss, really crank on this to keep it nice and thin. Just evenly segment this body all the way up. That looks good there. Once you get up top, tie off that stretch floss. And then, really quick, just come in here, toss in a one or two turn whip finish. And the only reason I do that is the stretchy material can come unraveled sometimes. So, once you pull on it to cut it out, it's whip finished off, it'll be nice and secure. So, then tug on that and just trim it out of there. Now I've got, uh, keeping with the same color, light olive scud back. I'm just going to cut to a small little point, just to ease in my tie in here. And anytime you're tying in stuff in tight quarters, if you um, spin your bob in the direction your material towards your material hand. So in this case, I'm tying with my, or holding my material with my left hand. Spin my bob into the left, and you'll see when I pick up the thread, it'll want to jump back. This just gives you that much more control of your thread and uh, makes that tie-in process fairly simple. So we'll get that to about where we want it. Right about there and make sure it's nice and centered I'm happy with that and now we'll take some diamond dub same thing light olive you can use ice dub if you've got ice dub this diamond dub has got a nice UV hue to it so I like using it as well as the ice dub kind of very similar just dub a fairly thin noodle not going to need a ton for this, just going to be our head. You want that kind of bulbous head that these things have. So, like I say, it's really a profile type pattern skinny body, tail with a lot of movement, chunky head, and the eyes help as well. And so, we'll just uh, wrap this in here, a couple wraps in front. And maybe just crisscross in through here a little bit. That looks pretty good there. I'll just try to pull everything back. Make a little ramp up front here. Okay, now we can go ahead and pull the scud back over, slide it right in between those two eyes, give this a good few wraps and then same thing, go ahead and whip finish it nice and tight. Just like so, and you can give this scud back a good stretch. should come right out of there. You won't be left with any excess sticking out, but now you can just clean that head up a little bit here. I'm just going to flatten my thread again. Finish her off. That 
just like so. Get rid of those little extra bits. And then I'm just going to take my dubbing brush, come in the bottom, give that a good rake. You'll see that dubbing will pull out of there and that's going to act as our legs. They're too long, just come in and give them a trim. That's about all there is to it. So that's the Slim Damsel. You'll see that under UV, this thing really, really pops. It's off for a second here. It uh, really, really stands out under the UV. So it uh, has worked well for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this pattern. Again, that's the Slim Damsel. And uh, that uh, finishes off video two. So I'll be back in uh, shortly with video number three. Have another nice uh, pre-hatch pattern for you. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers and tight lines.